What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episode 65 and 66. The first one was called We Are No Longer. Very excited to continue this backstory, Taiko, sadness, but also happiness journey. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access up to four episodes ahead. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode 65. Let's do it. All right. Playoff game starting now. Look at Almine's head already a little lowered. You can tell he's already turning into the Almine we know and love. If we win, we're champions for the second year in a row. Nah, this is the second national championship, you know, and these guys are just like, it's nothing. They're really, you know. We, episode 65, we are no longer. Oh, he feels he needs to apologize for that, which I understand. Hold out a little bit. Don't give up. Keep holding in there, you know? True. Mm. From Kuroko. He was listening when that happened. Shouts out to fucking coach. Shout out to Sensei. And if only you could, if only you past Almine knew of Kagami and the future Almine and the things you guys would go through. Oh my lord, you know. Shouts out to the Takeo squad. That's so crazy. They're too strong. As long as you're around as he collapses? What the hell happened to the coach? He'll live? God damn, what happened? So this is when they start developing their self-centered play styles. This is what coach said when it's gonna be it's gonna be they're too good. It's gonna be hard to start keeping the team keep the team together, you know. Yep. Hundred percent. I have some neighbor doing con uh, some construction out there, so if you guys hear that, I apologize. Yeah, that's never a good sign if you start talking like that. This man's doing the three the three point line on his side of the court, and he's like, maybe I ought to turn around and too damn near seventy five percent of the court. And he's like, wow, I really am amazing. Jesus, look at Akashi's familial situation. Fine then. No praise, no being proud. Must excel in all domains. Very much reminds me of a lot of uh, families in anime like that. I immediately think of Kaguya and the Shinomiya family. And yeah, so it's never a good situation to be raising a child like that, you know? Yep. Find a compromise only for Almine. Because he needs the special treatment. The school needs the reputation. But they don't want to make it any physically worse for Almine as well, forcing him to come to practice because then he'll quit the game. So it's like, as a head coach, he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I feel him. That's a compromise I wouldn't want to make. He's just venting his frustrations. So I can't blame him, but it's not nice to say this about, you know. Kuroko's always been there for you. God damn it, man. Yeah, 
hasn't passed him since then. That's crazy. I don't need you anymore. Oof. His eyes are like twitching and stuff. You know, he's going through it. And here comes the domino effect. This is what the coach was talking about. It's hard going to be to keep, keep one of this strong. It's going to be hard to keep the team together. Murasaki Baro is convinced he's the strongest now. Let's play a game of one on one then. We'll see right now. They're, they're beefing. I love the little quick dribble to get it up. One on one, first to five. We'll see who's weaker. Ooh, why is the music going so in right now? Yeah, you know you fucked up, but I can't blame you. I didn't think it'd be this one sided. Was that say 4 0? Well, I, I didn't see the score. Oh, it's 4 0, 4 1. I don't know right now. If he wins this, he wins. They're playing fucking Duel of Fates in the background? You know it's not good when you fucking start talking like this. Winning is everything. He turned on the fucking Sharingan. Boom. Emperor Eye. <laughs> I love the faces right there. Oh my god. This is this is what they mean when there's two Akashis. Oh, as they that transition to him hitting the Emperor Eye, falling over the ankle break, typical is so crazy. I'm guessing the score was 5-4. Yep. He's had like an epiphany. It is exactly. We're just going to use our individual talents. That's how the music, the, like, what the hell? This is so banger. How orchestral and choir it is in the background. Come on. <laughs> Once a plate cracks, it can never be whole again. He's not wrong. But as long as it's still useful, as long as it can still hold up fucking items. God damn. He's the most cold hearted and blunt he's been. Yeah, Midorima's the only one who's truly seen it over the days, you know. I've seen many times before is him. The music, bro, fits him so well. <laughs> it literally feels like we're watching some Star Wars Duel of the Fates. That's what I'm saying. It's a group of individually talented people versus a team. <laughs> there's a there's a distinct difference between the two. Okay, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. What, the old Akashi is, is out. He's done. If there are any there within the team. I get what he's saying. Especially with their egos getting so bigger and bigger and bigger. And, you know, their personalities clash. Yeah. There are certain points to both sides that I get completely. The light became too bright for his shadow. Ooh, that's kind of a bar. Damn. That's like so opposite of everything Kuroko believes in, you know? He misses those days. He misses the brotherhood, the friendship, the love of basketball. Yeah, 
And this is probably what Hayazaki meant when he was saying it was harder for those guys over the years, like dealing with this and living through this, you know? Like, I'm kind of get a different perspective on Hayazaki now, honestly. God damn, this is rough. All right, episode 66. This one was called What is Victory? Which is, I think, a great question. Look at that, 151 to 12. Is victory winning? Is it feeling good inside? Is it... What is victory? That's a good question. No one smiles anymore. If that's not... Damn. These guys are getting so conceited. Oh, is that Kiyoshi? Junpei? This is... <laughs> look at them. The walking past each other. Kiyoshi, Junpei, and... Oh, Mito by bringing the rest of the squad. Oh, man. Little do you know. Oh, my God. I love that. Little do you know. Oh, he forgot his, uh, something. Go return that. Go get that man to that man, Junpei. Oh. Oh, what the fuck is his name? Hanamiya? Who am I? You know what I'm thinking about. God damn it, man. I love this. That's a uh, Ogiwara. He knows Kuroko. You can tell Kuroko is not the same man. Not cheery, not happy anymore. He's just a different, you know. He doesn't smile anymore. Hey, good steal, good pass. This is this boy, Ogiwara. Come on. They won. They're in the finals. Wow, so they're going to gonna go they're gonna go against Taiko in the finals of their third year of middle school. Mako and Taiko. God damn. This is personal form. You're raring to go. He hasn't woken up yet. He got knocked out from that elbow. God damn. Oh, no. No, no. Don't, don't let Akashi talk to my boy. Talk about an intimidating face. We didn't even get to see his fucking response to that. <laughs> yeah, good joke, buddy. You think the doctor's gonna let you play? Don't be disrespectful. Don't be rude towards his, his friends. I mean, it's not... I mean, yes. Because you treat them like equals if you crush them, you know? Don't treat them like they're fucking weakling toddlers. So I get that. Even though them going hard is going to be fucking devastating. I hope they treat them as serious opponents and do what Kuroko wants, you know? The fourth quarter just started. Give us an update, Momui. We have a huge lead. Understandable. What is he what is he noticing? A nine. One eleven to nine. So at least make one shot and lose with dignity. Ogiwara. Okay, going for the shot. Barely misses. That's so disrespectful. Yes. <laughs> that's that's worse than letting them fail at having their moment. I 
That is so fucked up. That is the way they're shooting this. It's so heartbreaking for Kuroko. He's just the night. This sounds fucked up, but I want Kuroko to confront them. Be like, yo, you fucking dickheads. What are you doing? This has to do with the title of this episode. What is victory? Like, I'm kind of. Yeah. Why would you do that? I mean, that's a valid point. I mean, special treatment is a thing that's already been a, an established thing on this team, though. We, I tried to. I am so glad that now, in the present time... You can't. I get that. But it's like, I'm so glad that Kuroko is with Kakami and we're beating these guys. Like, don't get me wrong. I still love them. Midorima, uh, Aomine, Kisei, Murasaki Bara. But I'm glad. I'm glad they're getting humbled and they're losing to Seirene and getting shit on. Good. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to hear. I didn't want to hear that. I wanted to hear the team. And then he went, he goes to Mako. And he goes to see Ogiwara, Ogiwara. Is he not on the team anymore? Did he leave? That's the last thing Kuroko wanted to hear, man. Oh, there's not a better word than that. Obliterated your spirits. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I can, I can tell. That's so sad, man. God damn it. So now they're going to entrust their spirit and their, their hopes in Kuroko. Those ice cold eyes and melt them someday. I like how they're showing all this perfectly in tandem with us about to go against akashi you know are those ogiwaras our signature mother fucking, are you serious god damn i want to beat akashi so bad right now heiko graduation they think their individual talents shine their group as a name as a whole you know someone must come out ahead and they want to know you know Not only will we join your contest, we're going to beat your contest. We're going to start... Oh. That's why it's called Kuroko No Basket. Kuroko's Basketball. God damn. Ooh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> I am praying that that uh, Ogiwara somehow hears we made it and comes to watch us in this final match against Akashi, I'll start crying. I swear to God, if I see that in the finals. <laughs> Not the multicolored chops. Now, this is the teamwork and the camaraderie, the brotherhood we missed, you know. No big deal, no big meal. Jesus. <laughs> that was a great ending to this flashback. Alright, it seems we have an after credit scene. Let's see what this is all about. The day I graduated. Finally has his answer. Our basketball now. Love that. Kuroko and Kagami, the best duo. <laughs> One of the best duos in sports history with the squad cutting in the middle. Oh. Uh, woo, 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 woo. God damn it. Talk about an ending to a flashback. Talk about me feeling prepared and mentally juiced up for this fucking game. We are going to fucking be there. 
The next episode is called Final Tip Off. It's the final match. We're in the finals of the Winter Cup. Like, oh my god, my fucking soup to be here. And like, don't get me wrong. Like I've said, like I said in that reaction, I love the GOM boys individually and as a team. But seeing this made me driven for Kuroko to beat. I'm glad we beat them. But Akashi so bad. Like I, we need to humble him. He was almost humbled from Murasaki Bara, but then he unleashed his fucking inner Super Saiyan. So we're going to do it, and it's going to be insane. We have, what, nine more episodes to go in the show and then a movie, and it feels crazy. I have, oh my god, that was such a good flashback, especially because it was so perfectly placed in time to get you just ready, to get you ready, and uh, I, can't, I can't even speak English. That's how fucking, I just want to, I just want to go out on a, court and start doing some practice myself start shooting some threes i don't know hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here if you guys want to watch the early access check out that patreon uh, other than that don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day after squad peace out